Hello! Thank you for coming and viewing. I am Chef Sketty and welcome to Chef Sketty channel. Today I'm making a pork butt. I bought my pork butt at Publix. It's a seven and a half pound pork butt and it was $15. That's a big boy. And the dish I'm making today is called Mediterranean pork butt. And we're gonna be using prunes, some chef's getty seasoning, and couscous. And I'm gonna start this early. I've preheated my braising pan here. And I'm gonna put a nice sear on the pork and I'll slow cook it in my oven today. I would say about 300 degrees. And when my family comes home tonight at seven o'clock, we'll have this Mediterranean pork with couscous that I have stuffed with prune. Thank you. I'm gonna start cooking now. We have a preheated skillet. I've set my skillet at six, which is just a touch under medium high. With these brazing skillets, these cast iron skillets, you don't really wanna use a high heat as you can probably see I have in the past and I've scorched my skillet. That's okay. So how are you today? I'm doing wonderful. I'm gonna go ahead and season my pork with my seasonings. Whole garlic clove, parsley, some salt, I use kosher salt, more powdered garlic, and some pepper. I've washed my hands, and I'm gonna put my pork right flat, fat side down. Sizzle, sizzle. So I'm going to wash my hands and I'm going to let this pork just go ahead. It's going to take several minutes to sear. I would say your average would be just leave it here for 10 minutes. In the meantime, you can pour your seasonings all over. This will cause this little crust here when I flip it. Washing my hands. So I would like to also mention I am a new YouTuber. And um, I clearly don't really know what I'm doing in the video department. But in the cooking department, I'm pretty seasoned. So thank you for bearing with me and my poor video quality. In the meantime, I will talk about pork. Pork is good for all sorts of things. And I really can't even go on with a list, but our favorite in my house is usually some kind of taco or roast. This is not an organic pork. And it doesn't really matter about the meat being organic here. Maybe in your house it would matter, and I would say, okay, get some organic pork. Now the tool I use for most everything is my hook that was custom made for me. And this will sear for quite some time as I think of things to talk about. I have inspiration to start videos for my family and YouTubers who've mentioned, why don't you show me this, that, or the other thing. So I'm gonna start off today with a longer video. Hopefully we'll be able to explain. Maybe I won't explain anything, but I hope to deliver something here. I'll have to cook my couscous later on in my cast iron Dutch oven. 
not sponsored, but I do get some pretty decent value with cast iron at Target. There's sections throughout the store that have different brands. This one here is the Joanna. Um, I, Joanna Home Improvement Gown on this pot here. And this one here is the Target brand Threshold, which has held up well over a year for me. As you can see earlier, I showed you how I scorched it, but that's what happens when you do a lot of cooking. It's going to just sizzle for several minutes. It will release itself though. Most meats always do, if you just leave it be. Steaming is not a great idea for meats because it doesn't create a crust, obviously. So putting a lid on here wouldn't be anything I want to do for braising. I can smell the pork, the garlic. Now I have prunes here, and this is not really a very popular item that you would choose to put in your pork. And it is quite an old fashioned recipe, but it's been my favorite. And this is a prune. It comes dried. I bought these at Costco. Again, not, I'm not trying to promote any other companies. I'm just explaining why I purchased certain things. And of course, I wanted to show you ahead of time, I use a balsamic glaze, Costco. Their values are good. This glaze, 12 and a half ounces of glaze, was under $5. And I put this on top of the pork once I put it in the oven. Things are coming along nicely, and I think I'm going to do a little flip here. And this is where this cook is great. I mean, I have, look how easy this cook is. I have flipped 25 pound Thanksgiving turkeys with this hook here. The handle is made out of teak, teak wood, and simple metal that's curved. Love this thing. And I'm gonna wash my hands. The sear. I have a nice sear. And you don't have to stuff the pork with prune. You could leave it alone and put it in the oven and bake this for four hours on 350, 325. It's up to your oven, really. You check your pork. You know what you're doing, right? You're cooking or you're learning. That's the problem. Some people are still learning and other people aren't seasoned. So. We're just braising still. We're gonna set our oven. I have a convection setting. I set my convection at 320. And always check your oven because I have a family who needs the pizza rolls or the chicken nuggets still in my oven from the night before and I haven't checked and sometimes I'm reheating something I don't want to be. So everything is running smooth and things are great here. I mentioned I'm going to stuff this pork, but I've changed my mind because stuffing it, I would insert it. It's not hot in the pork, so I would be able to put it in, but now I just decided to put the prunes around the pork. Much easier. The oven will take care of the browning on the sides of the pork. But sometimes when I'm feeling time is not so much of a necessity to me. I'll flip it around the pan here and there and create other crusts around the edges. Saving time today and I'm not going to do that. So let's pretend that we've got 10 minutes ahead of searing here. 
turn this pork off. I glazed my pork. A touch of water would help. This will prevent the pork from burning on the bottom with the glaze. So start creating juices in the oven as it cooks. I've scattered the prunes. I have scattered 18 prunes around the pan. And at this time, I'm gonna put the pork in the oven and we're gonna end the video soon. Another thing with cast iron, it's never gonna be okay to touch the sides. So don't even trust it. Glove up. Always make sure your door is open. My oven is preheated at this point. Make sure your racks are in place, that's important. Now I've put my pork on the lower rack. And I'm gonna cook my pork for four hours. And I'll come back and do another video and show you the couscous and the pork when everything's finished. So this would be part one of my Mediterranean prune and pork. Thank you so much for viewing. Also, if you would consider subscribing to my channel, that would be great. I'm going to have a lot of adventure, fun adventures ahead, guest appearances. Uh, I have Angry Al who wants to come by. Uh, he's a kind man, but he... Uh, has some some issues that he would like to vent on YouTube so stay and by like subscribe it really helps my channel thank you